Hello, I'm Ella fox Widows, a PhD student studying plasma physics with fusion energy at the University of Liverpool. Today is Friday the 3rd of July and this is your fusion news update. The stories today include 1. Scientists develop new tool to design better fusion devices. 2. Fusion energy innovation, accelerated progress in 2020. 3. Elusive neutrinos reveal how fusion fuels the sun. And 4. Japan and Europe complete the assembly of the JT60SA fusion device. And then there are some bonuses at the end of this video too. 1. Scientists develop new tool to design better fusion devices. Researchers from the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory have developed a computer code that can simulate turbulence in stellarators. These simulations could provide key information on the best designs for future fusion machines without the time and expense of building them. Stellarators are magnetic confinement fusion plasma devices that use shaped external magnets to confine the fusion plasma. This is different to tokamaks, which rely on a combination of external coils and a magnetic field generated by a plasma current to confine the plasma. The code, called XGCS, aims to help fusion researchers design future devices to enable heat to be controlled effectively by controlling the turbulence within the plasma. This research provides a more complete picture of plasma behaviour in the complex geometry of the stellarator. The lead researcher of this work, Michael Cole, said, the main result of our research is that we can use the code to simulate both the early, or linear, and turbulent plasma behaviour in stellarators. This means that we can start to determine which stellarator shape contains heat best and most efficiently maintains conditions for fusion. 2. Fusion Energy Innovation – Accelerated Progress in 2020 Cleantech Group have a Sector Insights article about fusion energy. They highlight the increase in investment activity over the past 10 years, stating that the common line from investors today is that having at least one fusion investment in your portfolio is a necessity. They talk about emerging technologies and the spectrum of fusion approaches. Several fusion industry association members get a mention. Incidentally, if you're interested in the different ways of achieving fusion, we just put a video about that out this week. Check our YouTube channel. 3. Elusive neutrinos reveal how fusion fuels the sun. Physicists at the Boroxino experiment in Italy have discovered the missing piece of the puzzle that describes how fusion powers the sun. By catching neutrinos originating from the core of the sun, the researchers have accounted for the two key processes that fuel stars. At the sun's core, hydrogen fuses into helium via two processes. The first is the proton-proton chain, which accounts for 99% of the sun's energy source. The other fusion reaction is the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen CNO, cycle which is thought to be the dominant source of energy in stars larger than our sun. The neutrinos that are an output of these two processes have been studied to fully understand the theoretical predictions of the source of the sun's fuel. In previous experiments, the Baroxena researchers had spotted neutrinos from the first of these processes, but now neutrinos from the second process have also been observed. The Baroxena co-spokesperson Dr. Renucci presented these results and said, with this outcome, Baroxena has completely unraveled the two processes powering the sun. Alongside confirming predictions about the key processes that power the sun, the detection of these neutrinos could also provide vital information on the structure and composition of the sun's core, as well as information needed to understand the formation of stars. These exciting results, which were announced last week at the Virtual Neutrino 2020 conference, will enable physicists to further understand the early formation of the sun. 4. Japan and Europe complete the assembly of the JT60SA fusion device. The JT60SA fusion experiment in Naka, Japan is a joint European and Japanese project which aims to explore the complex plasma physics in support of ITER and future fusion devices. After seven years of assembly, it has now been announced that this project is ready for commissioning. Five years before the operation of ITER is planned, in autumn 2020, this upgraded tokamak in Japan will celebrate its first plasma. This magnetic confinement fusion device is a tokamak about half the size of ITER, with a diameter of 12 metres, and will provide key research on physics issues for ITO and DEMO, such as plasma stability and control, confinement and plasma material interactions. JT60SA, or Super Advanced, is part of the Broader Approach Programme, a joint programme agreed and funded by the European Atomic Energy Community and the Government of Japan, which focuses on the development of fusion research. And now for the bonuses. Can fusion generate unlimited emissions-free energy? Forbes magazine recently published an article outlining the complexities surrounding fusion energy and describes the technological developments pushing fusion into viability. Old assumption invalidated, controlling fusion plasma and plasma turbulence. PhD student Norman Cow at the Plasma Science and Fusion Centre at MIT has recently defended a thesis that disproves a common thought surrounding the origin and implications of plasma turbulence. 
A Star is Born, What's Happening on the Front Lines of Fusion, the Dream Energy Source. Japanese company Toshiba have shared their ideas on contributing to the advancement in fusion technologies to realise fusion energy in the future. Toshiba has had a strong involvement in the development of fusion technologies since the 1970s, from designing to manufacturing relevant technologies for fusion devices. The Independent has a long read article about fusion, giving an overview of fusion energy, its history and how it could bring an end to the energy crisis. However, it's mainly focused on ITER and is only available to premium subscribers. That's all for Fusion News today. Have a great weekend and see you next time. Please subscribe to our channel for more Fusion News and check the links in the description for more information on the stories discussed today.